Hey everyone, Jason here and welcome to Multilogin. Let's say you've got a great business idea, a great team, or just the ambition to make it on your own. But there are different blockers to scaling your business stably, quickly, and most importantly, efficiently. For example, account bans or other types of restrictions. Well, lucky for you, you are in the right place. And I'm gonna help you understand more about the Multilogin application. So let's hop into it and see how it's done with Multilogin. First, enter your email and password. This is the environment where all of your work will be managed from. Let's create our first browser profile, which is a set of parameters that upon launch will make it seem like it is a unique and separate online identity. Basically, browser profiles are gonna replace all of your physical devices and unreliable virtual machines with secure virtual browser profiles. That will allow you to create separate digital identities. As a first step, let's choose a suitable name for your profile so that it will be easy to manage your profiles and your workflow later on. And then, below, select an operating system that will preferably match the system that your computer runs on for the best undetectability. As you can see, every change that you make or option that you select will also be automatically changed within your browser fingerprint. Now, browser fingerprinting is the process of third-party websites and platforms gathering enough information about you as a user that they can uniquely identify and trace you. This has serious implications for any business running multiple accounts online and is a top reason for account bans. To find out more about browser fingerprinting, I would highly recommend you check out our detailed documentation on the website. But let's get back to browser profile creation. In this instance, I will choose the Mimic browser. This is our own created browser that is built on the base of Chromium. It looks like Chrome, but ensures even safer browsing. So, the next step is now to connect the dedicated proxy for your profile. I have prepared some proxies that I will enter now. But for more proxy options and proxy services with discounts, you can visit our partners page. Multilogin allows users to use different types of proxies and services on each browser profile. For location spoofing, you can even use mobile devices or VPNs. As the proxy verification checks out, let's get to the third step. After you've received a real native fingerprint from Multilogin and chosen the IP location that you want to share with the website, you will need to warm up your profile with the following options. Either use the feature Cookie Import or a tool called Cookie Robot. Essentially, they both do the same thing. For each browser profile, they will create a separate and realistic browser cookie history in a slightly different way. That's something that's definitely needed, as cookies are basically files that websites can place on your PC, which allows them to track you better. Using Cookie Robot is actually very easy. Simply input pre-selected pages that you want to crawl into this field. Select your random crawl time and then press Run. I will now speed up the following process to save up some time. Cookie Robot will now automatically open your browser and in the background will start going through all the pages that you've added for it to visit. So while it starts visiting these pages, it's creating a natural cookie history for you that appears exactly the same as a real user's would. There you go. With three easy steps, you've created for yourself an additional online identity. One, you got a browser fingerprint. Two, you added IP location with the help of your proxy. And three, a profile warm-up was done with Cookie Robot. And with that, you basically emulated real user behavior. But let's not only take my word for it, let's also see what different websites that detect personal identity data leaks will show us. First, we're gonna visit Browser Leaks website and see what results we get from it. I'm gonna bring up my Chrome browser so you can see the difference. Actually, you can see that, for example, I'm really located in a different part of the world. Let's also visit Pixel Scan and get one more confirmation that there are no leaks and that everything is consistent and as it should be. And it's the same results here. My actual data is completely masked and in the safest possible way. As you see the results for yourself, nothing detects our actual information. And the sophisticated and well-researched fingerprint developed by Multilogin works perfectly. Now I can launch all of my browser profiles from anywhere and anytime and not worry about account bans or blocks. Stay tuned for part two. Multilogin is not only the tool that helps you with account bans or secure and undetected browsing, it is also a great tool for managing your team and creating workflows. I welcome you to the second part of the video, 
where we're going to look into the account management capabilities that Multilogin also offers. For starters, we can clone any of our browser profiles. During cloning, it will keep the browser profile settings, but the rest is a blank canvas for you to work on. So, you can easily create lots of profiles with the best settings for you in seconds. Secondly, you can also create groups for your team members, virtual assistants, or business partners. You can then assign all of the required browser profiles to these groups that you've created. So, the assignee will only see the browser profiles that are meant for them to work on. You can see here, you can select any of the browser profiles that you can add to any group that you want, and it's as simple as that. Here you see, they're within the groups. Those just created browser profiles, you can also transfer to other multi-login users. All you need to know is their email and use your password. We can see that this team member has now been successfully added. In addition, you can change or edit the permissions for different groups at any time you need. Last but not least, Multilogin also offers you automation. For example, you can write a script for an account creation flow, and API allows creating, listing, and customizing profiles. The browser integrates with Selenium and Puppeteer headless libraries. All those features you will get with Multilogin. And, as you have seen for yourself, they are quite easy to use. If you still have any questions and by any chance something in this video was unclear for you, then do not worry. Without any hesitation, you can turn to our helpful, tech-savvy, live support who will help and find a solution for you. I hope now you are ready and well-informed. Visit Multilogin.com to get started and let's scale together.